in this lesson of the tutorial we're going to go ahead and do our grill modeling here and we'll just simply duplicate faces extrude them and then duplicate those extrusions after the, the main piece of the geometry has been made and then just place it by hand and I'm going to go ahead and make the metal part here and all I simply do is just duplicate the faces um, move it out extrude it, adjust it and, and just go from there. It's simpler to do that rather than model it by hand because um, a lot of the times if you just model it by hand it's not going to match um, the layout of the car perfectly but if you duplicate the faces and go that way it, it's going to match and you know it's going to match because those are faces straight off of the car and straight off the body of the car so it's easier to do it that way for at least for me um, some people have a different way of doing things and especially in, in, in those and I'm not sure why you wouldn't just duplicate the face and as you can see I made my metal piece there you know fairly quickly um, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the actual geometry for uh, <coughs> the metal pieces that go up in the grill here and you know you simply just duplicate a face um, move it up and adjust it as is needed. And I'll adjust basically just one side of it and then mirror it back over and just make one of them and then duplicate them all up. And I'm trying to here get it to match the the main metal part of the grill so that you know you don't really have any weird shadows and, and weird artifacting whenever it goes to actually render. And it's just a lot of this is just all edge placement as well to make sure that it uh, retains its shape. And we want to try to, you know, keep the edges as as sharp sharp as possible, so that it, uh, you know, gives us a really nice look. And you simply just do that by adding a, a couple extra edges around the uh, the edge of the geometry, and that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and just start duplicating um, the pieces here, too, and then I'll you know duplicate all four and you can see where we'll fill up the geometry you know fairly quickly and you can see where the the pieces are sticking out here and I'll just you know adjust those individually
And this is just definitely where it's going to take a, a little bit of time to to go ahead and get the grill part here to fit properly. And I'm adding edge loops there on the end to just make sure you, you know, it, it fits the shape right and it's going to have a, a hard edge. So it just takes a little bit of time. And as you can see, I skipped there a little bit because doing the grill there was taking a little bit too long. So um, I just simply kept going on down the down the model and, and you know deleting faces and, and adding edge loops you know where where needed. And just do that, and you know you can get your grill grill done pretty fast. And pretty much there's the grill of our car and we just need to add the uh, the vertical pieces for it and you can simply just do this by duplicating one and uh, adjusting if it's needed and, and then going from there and it's definitely a advisable to go ahead and add things to a layer so that you can really um, keep organized and definitely group group your model too so that you know what's what and it's going to make that that'll you know just basically make it easier for you whenever you go to uh texture your car and it's easier to just duplicate one and place it and adjust it where where you need to and I'm always adding edge loops to make sure it's going to retain its shape a lot better and then just you know duplicate the excess faces off
and I'll go ahead and duplicate that one piece to go ahead and make the other pieces here. And it's just adjust verts and, and try and place it where you know I think it should go. I'm just trying to place them properly and get them in the right position. It's just simply duplicate, you know, adjust the verts, place it. And then I'll go ahead and duplicate them over for, for the other side. Making sure that I skill it um, neg negatively in X. So it would be negative 1. And there you go. There is pretty much our grill. You know, some adjustment is needed, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see that I had uh, what was probably too many pieces of geometry there, and I just simply deleted every other one and scaled the, the original ones up. And now I'm just adjusting the metal part. And there we go.